Last night we told you about the man who is now facing a May trial for abusing the puppy Halsey. That puppy is making great progress. Tonight, Andrea Moorhead introduces us to the woman behind this amazing recovery and how more animals right now need help, too. That's right. Well, you know, guys, Dr. Tara Harris believes that every dog, every dog counts. In fact, every dog, no matter their condition, really matters. 24-7, she's dedicated to providing a path to healing for everyone. Take a look. Crazy girl. She thinks she's a perfectly normal dog. <laughs> she's ready to go play. Amity is a two-year-old Chihuahua mix. Uh, Amity came to us um, after she was hit by a car. So she is paralyzed in her back legs. And Grandpa is a senior dog. He has three different types of cancer. We know we can't cure him completely. Now in hospice care. You know, if they have a choice between having to end their life at a shelter where it's scary and they're surrounded by strangers, um, or they can come live with us for a while and live out whatever time they have left um, being loved and being comfortable and um, cared for, then to me that's a no-brainer. One of Grandpa's best friends is Halsey. You may remember her. We've been following Halsey's progress since January when the then four-month-old was found beaten. She had multiple skull fractures, a broken jaw, broken ribs, and a broken leg. Well, now she's on the road to recovery, all thanks to Dr. Tara Harris. Our little Halsey that came from, obviously, a really horrible environment. She still meets everybody with happy little tail wag, can't wait to give kisses. By day, the doctor leads the Pediatric Center of Hope at Riley Hospital, specifically treating abused children. Well, that same understanding and spirit of compassion can be found with her rescue foundation that she started eight years ago. Every dog counts. Um, dogs with medical needs, either orphan dogs um, or elderly dogs, dogs with um, injuries or illness. You know, we're kind of filling a niche that um, that needed to be filled. Love is what helps push Amity along. Um, we were hoping she would regain some more movement in those legs. Um, it doesn't look like she's going to. She visits the vet two times a week for radiation treatment and physical therapy. It's helping um, like give her that kind of muscle memory. Thanks to a partnership. They have a heart for helping these little homeless guys too. With BCA Advanced Care Center in Fishers, their hope is that once the dogs are given a clean bill of health, another family will carry the baton of hope and provide a loving home, even for those who are near the end of life. It's about relieving their pain. Every family we've ever had who has um, provided hospice care has said that it was a really meaningful experience and that they um, were glad they did it. Oh, so sweet. And their eyes say thank you. It's, it's really pretty amazing how quick they are to forgive the world for what they've been through. Now, Amity is actually available for a forever home, and she really needs to be with someone who understands all of her limitations. As for Grandpa, he has about six to nine more months to live, and if you would like to provide him the best last days of his life here on Earth as a foster home, please give the foundation a call tonight. They desperately need more foster homes as well as donations so they can continue their mission of saving abused animals. Boy, she just uh, doesn't turn it off. She just no, cares all She keeps all day going, long. going, and going. Yeah. Of course, we have more information on our website at WTHR.com if you can help. All right.